Now, when GMC launched the Terrain name back in 2009, the company went on to sell about 700,000 units since the model's inception. I'm at the 2017 Detroit International Auto Show, and this is the completely redesigned 2018 Terrain. Let's take a first look. Now here in the United States, there's no denying just how important the compact crossover is. And you can see for 2018, GMC gave this car a complete overhaul in terms of the look. In fact, the platform is all new. This is now rides on the all new uh, D2XX platform, which is the same platform that underpins the Buick Envision uh, that I showed you guys in a full uh, red line review. Now you can see the design of this new terrain is certainly very unique. Um, all models will basically come with the signature LED daytime running lights. Um, this particular one that I'm showing you is the, is the Denali trim, which includes LED headlights. If you guys go for the other trims, which is SL, SLE, and SLT, you'll actually get by Xenons as standard equipment, uh, which is definitely a nice upscale uh, touch. Now you can see the headlights are certainly very interesting looking. Uh, I actually didn't really like the way this car looked uh, in pictures, but seeing it in person, I think it actually has a much uh, more better look in person. I think it's definitely unique. It goes with the new design theme that GMC is offering. You can see, obviously being the Denali model, there's a little bit more chrome, a little bit more shiny elements. Um, these 18 inch wheels are definitely uh, an attractive looking wheel. You have chrome mirrors uh, on this particular Denali trim. You can see the overall silhouette certainly uh, has a much more unique look to it. It looks a lot smaller than the old one to me. Uh, GMC says, I think it's about two inches shorter. There isn't really much information yet since this is still just the first preview of this car. Uh, you have this interesting floating roof design which goes with the other theme like the Murano, the Lexus RX. It looks a little bit better on the uh, terrain, um, but I, it's not particularly a favorite design element of mine. Now looking at the rear, uh, you can see the taillights mimic the design of the headlights. LED signature, of course, on this Denali. Uh, and overall, it has a much more uh, smaller look to it. A lot of the, I see a lot of the um, Acadia design influence in this vehicle. And I think it definitely fits more in line with the segment. The old model was definitely a lot larger uh, than a lot of its other compact siblings. And this definitely has that nice, more smaller manageable package uh, when you look at the overall design. Now, underneath the hood of this car, which GMC won't let me show it to you right now, you'll actually have three engine choices. The base model will be a 1.5 liter turbocharged four-cylinder, uh, about 170 horsepower, 203 pound-feet of torque. Uh, the upgrade engine will be a two liter turbo, same as the Buick Envision, 252 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. Now, those gas engines will mate to a new nine-speed automatic transmission with either front or all-wheel drive. Uh, now, the new engine option will be the same thing as the Equinox, a 1.5 liter D Diesel, a turbo diesel option with about 137 horsepower and 240 pound-feet of torque. Now that model will definitely be unique to this segment. Uh, Mazda will be also be introducing a diesel as well in the all-new CX-5, so it's nice to see that GMC will be introducing that. There's no fuel economy figures yet, but expect the diesel to come close uh, to 40 mpg. Now on the inside of the all-new Terrain, um, you can see the design follows closely with the uh, all-new Acadia that I showed you earlier, uh, or last year. Um, it's a much more upscale looking design, especially on this particular Denali trim. Now, I'm not allowed to sit in it because this one's like a hand-built prototype or whatnot. They don't want people sitting in it. But I can definitely tell the interior materials are improved. Um, the dashboard is soft touch. You have more of that stitching. Uh, and it looks very similar to the, the Acadia that I showed you. Some nice aluminum trim, some nice wood. Uh, one thing I am noticing uh, is the push button transmission selector. This is uh, a new feature for this model. It controls the nine speed automatic in, in this particular one. Uh, heated and cooled seats I'm seeing. You have the controller here for the four wheel drive system. And in this one, it looks like it has an automatic parallel parking function. Now, speaking of some new technology features, this vehicle does come with the full suite of GM active safety tech. It has lane keep assist, lane departure warning, forward collision warning with emergency braking and pedestrian detection. One thing this car is missing though is adaptive cruise control. For some reason, I didn't find it on the option list. I'm not entirely sure why GMC didn't offer it. It seems like a silly omission considering everything else in this class offers it, but uh, we'll find out in the coming months uh, when this vehicle becomes closer to its on-sale days. Speaking of which, you can pick up this vehicle uh, in dealerships starting in the summer of 2017 with no pricing yet announced, but I expect it to stay right around the uh, mid-2013 thousand dollar range similar to all of its other competitors when this vehicle uh, does launch. For Redline Reviews at the 2017 North American International Auto Show, I'm Sophie Bay.